Hi, everybody. I hope everybody is doing well. Love you guys so much. I do want to let you guys know, unfortunately, it really stinks because I love you guys so much. You are so empowering to each other in the comments. But I decided today that I'm disabling the comments. I don't know if it's permanent and also on Instagram because as you guys know, there have been scammers and not just in my channel, but in the YouTube community in general, making fake accounts. And they are so sly that they do it in ways you can't even notice. Like my Instagram page is Victoria underscore the underscore medium. They, they'll, they make fake accounts with like an extra underscore so you don't notice, etc. But now they're going as far as, you know, scamming people in my comments. They've never targeted the comment section on my Instagram page, but today, my last post, you want to know how many I counted? In my comments, asking people to click links for like services, 10, 10 within three hours. So I really am so sorry. This is just a way for me to protect you guys. It's crazy out here. <laughs> Remember, all of my information is down below. Please, please be mindful. We have to be mindful in general in our own lives with your own credit card, the social, secu social security number in general. I am extremely detailed. Down in my description box, everything you need to know, including links to my Instagram that will send you there directly is there. If it does not match that, it is not me. Okay, now. This is going to be very different than my usual readings. I was not intending on posting a long reading or a reading at all today because I'm unavailable. I always, <laughs> I never travel without a couple decks and um, my device holder thing in my car, just in case. And my crystals, of course. And my bra. Okay, I'm raw. What is this? King of coins. <laughs> That's exactly what we were going to talk about. We'll talk about it, but I'm going to shuffle. <laughs> I'm getting real raw with you guys. Got to protect ourselves. <laughs> uh, but literally, I just stepped, I stepped aside because um, for those of you that are new, I'm a medium. That is my main ability is connecting to those that have crossed over. I channel mostly and I use the cards to confirm. So it's like a constant conversation. However, usually you it's like a door when you invite them to speak to you you open the door then they start messaging like i'm always connected but more so when i tell them that i want them to get near me because they know me human i need to have space but they were like in my ear <laughs> okay like you have to share this now you have to share this now so it's going to be very quick to the point now what's interesting is they want to emphasize i'm going to shuffle this is exactly what i was going to be saying ace of swords communication they want to emphasize but i'm going to shuffle that the interesting thing about human perception, I'm already channeling, by the way, this is what they want to say, is that they want to share this message for whoever it's for. I don't believe in the message. This may or may not resonate. If you're here, it's for you. And all of you will watch this and it will apply to you in, in a different way. So it's like they want to be a little bit general, but you will know. Uh, trust me, if they're making me stop, it's for a reason. That never usually happens. So pay attention. They're saying this is important. It has something to do with tonight in particular and to tomorrow. May, I mean, it could carry over. But if they're having me like right now, it's now for some of you. I'm sorry. My device just stopped. Back to what I was saying. They never have me channel things by accident. So everything coincides. So even that message about the scammers and me having to turn off the comment. Oh, that's so funny. I didn't even notice sharing that that because I already know the message they want me to share I channeled it already my, you know they already told me has everything to do with that then that's interesting because that's an example of how it applies to different scenarios because it's like the energy is the same but it's for you specifically and something else and then my device stopped everything is an omen because they're trying to stop you from something okay so this is they're trying to stop you from something literally Three of Swords, which is a heartbreak. Okay, so this is what's going on. I don't even know why this keeps stopping. But again, that's an em that's emphasis that they are stopping you from something. And you saw how it just came out in voluntary movements. The message is, 
Okay. To the point, I channel. This is what they showed me. They showed me the Ace of Swords. We saw it. They showed me um, Three of Swords, Seven of Swords. Okay? I will get into what they mean. Three of Swords is, you know, heartbreak. Seven of Swords is deception. Could be self-deception. I also, they showed me the Eight and Nine of Swords, which is self-imposed imprisonment of your own mind and overthinking with the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is like, it could be like, you know, clouded judgment, fogged mirrors. They started with the Ace of Swords, with the Moon card. Moon card is all the stuff from like within, but it's ju with, ju with judgment and the Wheel of Fortune. Judgment is a uh, judgment day. It's like reconciling with yourself or with somebody, letting out all the toxicity, right? Wheel of Fortune is like, uh, it's a sudden event. It could go negative. It could go positive. It's the car. It's, it represents Saturn uh, karmic lessons. It's that that wheel is about to turn right now. Okay. But it has something to do. It may manifest with you in particular with communication. Now I said perception is everything. This could apply with, you know, your communication with yourself, your mind, your communication with somebody else, your communication with others third parties someone else's communication with third parties you take it as a resonance but it, it's like right now i know it's right now because they showed me like tower eight of wands cards which is like now even knight of swords which is like now like quick impulsive but the interesting thing is like the seven of cups card for me is clouded judgment but to me in particular as a reader it also signifies like the meddling energy card so for some of you, this may be a message to, you don't have to take it personal. That's the thing. It's all about perception. But, but that ties into the message. Everybody has a different perspective of the world. If you're not open to only like high priestess, that's, high priestess, hierophant card, that's what they're pushing you towards. Is to listen to your own intuition. Because right now you're confusing yourself. Interesting. You know what they showed me right now? <laughs> they show me the world with a page of swords but this is what they said page of swords is like text communication researching but it's like the research card like it literally could be you on your computer world card they i heard the word the word world wide web for some of you they're saying be very mindful of watching like a million readings because with that wheel of fortune we can channel the energy but remember at the end of the day you have free will to create your destiny that's the thing. So there's an emphasis right now on like making sure that you are not letting things people get into your mind or you in your own mind. They're in particular, and I never in my life talk about this, are telling you guys about those channels, like those dating coaches that are out there, like how to get him to text you back, like how to tell the man loves you. This is how you get your ex back. There's a million of them. There, for whatever reason, today is not the day to be looking, you know, to be, have that pop up on your feed and click it. Because they're saying, the emphasis right now is, all of this is just like a game. It's a methodology. If you are here because you think you have a soul connection with someone, why are you approaching it like it's a game? You approach something like it's a game, you're going to receive a gain. It's also the energy of control. If you think that you have to do things a certain way to control an outcome, that's what the divine is going to give you. Someone that's controlling or a situation that's not going to flourish. Okay? So for whatever reason they're saying that you are connection, this is, for a lot of you, this can manifest lots of ways. But with the lover's card, they just show me the two of cups. Even the ten of cups is freaking beautiful. Six of Cups is like somebody from the past. Also, you know, your childhood programming. They're saying like, be mindful because with the higher and the high priestess, those are very spiritual cards, okay? It's literally your intuition. And they're saying, sun card to the moon card, sun card's like the divine, star card is like healing. Not everything is gonna make sense to you. You were placed here with a bigger karmic lesson. It's not supposed to make sense to you. So as long as you are in your head about this, this is supposed to be like this and this and this, like F this, this is so disrespectful, whatever. They're just saying right now, it's the time to go with and be the bigger person. 
there might be opportunities again for people getting your mind you getting your mind or someone trying to trigger you whatever the main message is lead with love queen of swords king of swords especially the queen of swords in reverse which is like i will fucking cut you <laughs> excuse my language i hope i don't get demonetized okay that's the new york new jersey in me whatever don't do it <laughs> okay dude i got no accidents you know what it is <laughs> i'm not even gonna let that flip out that is the five of swords which is the five of swords is quite literally the card of like sneakiness deception is the card of dis it's the card of wanting to one up somebody and strategy that ends up bringing you to the seven of swords which is self deception straight up in the form of in this deck it's the pages are knaves okay knave of sword everything i just said this is the text message that analyzing the videos how you communicate your strategy straight up this is for somebody and it, it relates to today. If I can shuffle, that would be fantastic. I did shuffle that too, right? Lead with healing and love. Lead with being directed, being guided by the stars because they're saying just like logic right now is not going... Okay, I have to because look at how it's freaking falling out. Okay, because I did channel them together. The moon card <laughs> is the things I channeled this too. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> because they know that this has to be quick. Eight of Swords, High Priestess, Judgment. Hold on. Please let me shuffle. Please. Dude. Dude. I'm not reading reversals. Dude. Dude, you guys have seen me shovel, right? And of course, if I channeled it and they come out in your face, I am going to take them out because they are confirming. Shit. Did you just see how that flew out underneath the high priestess? Because that's the way they want me to confirm the message. And this has to be quick. I wasn't even planning on doing this. I'm going to pull two more. And then I think that we're pretty clear because I said pretty much every single card on this deck. But there we go. Did you just see how that flipped? But they wanted to make sure that you knew it's about communication. <gasps> Ten of Swords is backstabbing endings, whatever. You're backstabbing yourself, whatever. This is devil energy. Straight up. It's the devil getting in your mind. The devil's your ego, your pride, your program, all that bullshit. And the five of swords strategy is out again and the star came out again but i'm gonna just leave it right here hold on you saw it the seven of cups you saw it but they want something else to come out because I, I don't know why i picked it up like that but i did <laughs> boom that's why because because <laughs> they want to emphasize that this is for a masculine energy it could be a man or it can literally relate to the masculine energy within yourself because masculine energy is about action okay it's about analyzing thinking feminine energy is nurturing etc magician is having the ability to to create your own destiny manifest your own destiny it is your choice you have all these tools around you um and it's the number one okay so you get to choose where this goes okay i don't like the queen of wands in reverse the queen of wands in reverse is somebody it, it could be somebody else involved especially two queens queen of wands in reverse is somebody that's like very seductive in a way though that seems really nice but to manipulate and get their way like it looks really like sexy like i could you know like just knows how to get into somebody's mind and manipulate so that might be for somebody yeah especially with the page of wands okay and look at all that like fire energy again which is like seduction 
look how this is flipping out though so this could be specific for somebody ten of swords in reverse ten of swords upright is an ending it could be because of somebody it could be another party involved that doesn't want to let go that's why eight of cups they're confirming that <laughs> that's what it is somebody getting in the way seven of cups you saw eight of cups is what is the card of walking away and in this deck in particular you see how only two cups have hearts two cups have hearts with the stars all around it which is the two of cups that i channeled which is a connection right so eight of cups is like walking away from a connection so it's almost the energy for some of you that there's somebody here that Take it as it resonates. It could be a third party that's trying to get in the way because they can't let go. And it seems nice on the outside, like seductive, whatever. Shit's gonna ruin your life, ruin somebody else's life. Or it's the energy of you walking away from all of the things that you think is love so that you can actually have it to remind you that you manifest your own destiny they want something else not reading reversals and i channeled this too look what was at the top you manifest your destiny ace of cups a brand new beginning in love pouring out your emotion with the sun here and i did see the sun there it is six of cups is i also channel that it's somebody from the past it's also your programming you see here, I never saw that. There's a cup here with a heart inside and a cross. The cross reminds me of the Hierophant, which I channeled, which is not here. Which is like something sacred. So though it may not seem logical to you, that's because it's sacred. You have to, they, they want you to lead with your intuition right now, even if it doesn't make sense. Period. Again, this is like my cup runneth over with the sun. So there is a need to just let your emotions flow get your heart out of that cup and go by what you feel not what seems logical on the outside again take it as it resonates there's a heart in here starting to come out of that cup cup signify love with that like black energy smoke and flame it's like coming out of the dark or having like energy that it's devil energy that like blocks you from what you're supposed to have because of everything that I said. Even the sun here is like has like a black shadow. Dude, isn't it crazy how I like literally <laughs> listen, I, this this came out again, magician. You manifest your destiny. Isn't it crazy how I mean I know I know that I'm a medium, obviously. I know that they're talking there, but just be, I'm still a human being. So when I channel all these cards and they just come out like that, it still amazes me every time. It doesn't matter. Every time. Conversation, someone, you know, that can bring heartbreak. This is a massing energy looking at the sword, blocking himself, looking away from the situation. Again, look, look how they're blocking themselves, keeping everything in. With the, I said eight of swords, nine of swords. Literally, I channeled it back to back, back to back. Eight of swords, nine of swords. Self-imposed imprisonment of your own mind keeps you in your head, okay? But then look at this. High Priestess. High Priestess is a medium. High Priestess is a psychic. High particular as it resonates. High Priestess is quiet because she knows the truth within. She doesn't have to go by anything. She has the book of life in her hand. The High Priestess is your intuition. So is the Temperance. Temperance is something divinely guided, okay? By the angels. All right, which is what I'm channeling. So they're saying, lead, whatever communication, lead with balance. And even though it seems logical, illogical on the outside, but something inside of you feels right, that's what you need to listen, just listen. I know it sounds crazy. And this is in regards to some kind of a communication that brings judgment to a situation. But then look here. Look what's on this side, and then look what's at the other side. <laughs> on this side is the masculine energy, three of swords, like heartbreak. And then on this side, it's a feminine energy with seven of cups, clouded judgment, also meddling energy with a sword in her back. Like, I'll cut you. Okay? Not the energy that you want to be in. Okay? But this is also the energy, again, because this can manifest lots of ways. I said that it could be somebody else trying to give advice or whatever, but if you look at them from the front, they look beautiful, but they have a sword in the back 
ready to chop your head and you don't see that okay so please again those videos they keep emphasizing that they keep emphasizing that and we started with the page of swords literally look what just you can't make it up look what just slipped look what just slipped by itself and then this dude because i channeled this one and it didn't come out so i said be careful with that seven of swords is self-deception eight of cups is walking away from self-deception you can have two of cups it's also seven of swords could also be somebody like deceiving you because they don't want you to walk away take this as it resonates i did channel the eight of wands also and they said the reason they're having me do this right now is because this is happening right now this is quick movement forward quick communication like if you don't if this doesn't change now <laughs> okay i don't know i literally was just flipping this for no reason i don't know two of wands seven of wands two of wands is having a vision for the future but there's brick here but you're keeping yourself blocked seven of wands is like you're about to go it's like you're going a step backwards you go a step backwards right now because you're not listening to your intuition. You're not going to go back to the six of wands or, or the five or the four or the three. You're going to go all the way to the two and be blocked. Okay, they want you to be free, put an end to this world card again, but they're emphasizing the worldwide web. <laughs> Shadow energy, look, moon card. That it will break your heart. Your own heart. Three of Cups is like celebration, having fun with somebody, being lighthearted. Nine of Wands is standing your ground towards what you love, like not letting anyone interfere. But the Three of Cups is also like the card of like an extra party to the Two of Cups, which is love. You need to block yourself from that. Somebody's like a super, don't be a fool, straight up. Something fell on the floor. <laughs> Justice. Don't be a fool. Now, for some of you, it might be something legal. It's like the energy of somebody wanting to get back with you and then, but boom, I am sorry. You can't make it up. That's for somebody. I said, I said, I said, take this as it resonates, but this is very particular for somebody. There you go. Okay. Because you can't make it up. We are talking about the Queen of Wands in reverse. If you forgot what I said about that, please get back. I, I cannot be here for a long time right now. Four of Cups is keep your emotions to yourself. Ace of Swords in reverse is not communicating. Okay? Like, not communicating. And it's also somebody holding truth from you. Okay? And, um, and the Nine of Wands, the Ten of Wands is also the card of burden. So it's like... This, you give in to this, you don't bring justice to this, you're one step away from going to the Ten of Wands, which is a burden. Now, this is for somebody. The Queen of Wands, I, I told you what I said about that, but with the Empress underneath, the Empress is a woman. It's feminine energy. It's the mom, someone you're married to. It could be a sister. It could be the mother of your children. It does not matter. There is a need not to communicate. And there's something legal. Like, it's like this kind of situation will end up that way. Again, don't be an idiot. Tower. And this is happening now out of nowhere. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look. Tower moment, sudden events, ten of cups is freaking the ultimate loving connection you could possibly have. But why is the Five of Cups after it with the Page of Wands, the Knave of Wands? <laughs> the Five of Cups is sadness and the Page of Wands is like somebody communicating passionately. There's an I here crying. Crying into the Ace of Cups, which is love. It could be like somebody saying like, oh my, I want you, whatever. Like I'm crying about it. But look at the flames like devil energy. Or letting you know that in order for you to have this, you need to like destroy an old foundation to have a new one. Again, or beware of fiery communication, literally flames, sadness, like this is like explosion. 
dude and it's in regards to an emperor and an empress we saw the emperor emperor before now there's the empress i'm done and i gotta go <laughs> i was not planning on making this this long because i can't they said they want one more thing that's important the eight of cups again whoa eight of cups walking away to go into hermit mode not speaking there's a freaking scale here justice again two of coins is like two options death is ending something so you can transform I, there is like an extra energy boom with strategy there's like an extra energy <sighs> there it is again there is an extra energy here the emperor's emperor empress sorry I channeled the lovers upright. It came out in reverse, even if I'm not reading reversals, but it's perfect for this. Either somebody's not being nurturing and that's blocking your love, or there is literally a feminine energy trying to block something. Eight of Swords trying to, oh my God, trying to impulsively get in your head. Eight of Swords. And here you are, like, look, like giving love to it, being the King of Wands upright to the Queen of Wands. When there's actually like, Oh my God, when there's actually a, you're supposed to be queen of cups, king of cups. Look how like beautiful. Take this as it resonates. Oh my God, again. But that will not manifest if you continue to play this like deceptive games with love. There's a the heart, world card in reverse and don't end the cycle. You cannot tell me. That, that the divine's not manipulating the cards right now. All right, I'm sorry. Now again, remember, take it as it resonates. I could be saying it's somebody else, like an additional party. It could be you, like an aspect of yourself that you need to end. All right, I'm gonna pull, I'm sorry that I'm speaking really fast. It's cause I gotta go. This didn't come out in tarot, but I did channel it, the sun. It says self express and embody truth. Okay, meaning what you feel on the inside. Opposition, I told you. Th there's some kind of like polarizing energy that's stopping you from what you're meant to have. And like, if you don't, and you're supposed to have it, do literally. I'm going to just read it. Venus, it's about love. Venus, give and receive love. Find value and see beauty. I told you. House four, cultural and family roots, home, peace, and comfort. I told you. House 11, friends, like-minded groups, and humanitarian beliefs. Can't make it up. Taurus, trust, patience, and sensuality. Pluto, transform. Can you make that up or can you make that up? I just heard somebody say, if this is for me, do this. Okay. Or whatever that means. It might not be for everyone, but I just literally heard, if this is for me, have this come out. What the hell was that? <laughs> What in the world am I doing? I don't know how that ended up there. Cardinal. Cardinal is Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. The hell? And one more. <laughs> Chiron. Hurt and heal. Two more, he said. Square, a challenging situation and a mountain to climb. I'm telling you. Oh my God. What the hell am I doing? <laughs> no. No. That, that didn't feel right, but we are Mercury retrograde. He said one more. Let me shuffle. Oh, that wasn't right. How am I doing? Okay. Um, oh, look, Libra. I saw that it was just like poking out. Dude, what the hell? I, why can't I hold this right now? 
literally air and libra together and that's communication um open-mindedness objectivity and learning libra consideration fairness and harmony okay with cardinal uh, okay so i'm gonna just this might not be for everyone but i'm gonna tell you the signs that are here there's taurus there's aries um cancer libra capricorn heavy libra air signs are gemini aquarius libra Okay. Why do I keep hearing again? Like somebody needs so much confirmation. What the? F because it's like again and again and again and again. Like like again. But that's the energy of like not trusting. Cancer, nurture, comfort, and protection. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that here. You know why? Because that's the whole message is about leading with that energy. <laughs> I just split it. <laughs> and it goes with the message, sweet as a Georgia peach, kindness, tender care, charm, beauty, flirtation, flirtation, um, flirtation, delicious experience. Hold on, no, that wasn't right. And um, they want one more. Bless your heart, friendship, appreciation, devotion, worthiness, caring, playful, teasing. It, that's the whole energy about like that, even if it doesn't make sense. Oh my God, because, because, pot calling the kettle black, hypocrisy, projection, similarity, blame, introspection. <laughs> you know what? Because it, and then 21, which is now 2021, catching lightning bugs, happiness, everyday magic, childhood, simple pleasures, wonder, secret wish. Didn't I say? Okay, and um, I'm just going to pull one of this. Okay, I guess to ask. It's okay to ask for help. It's not a sign for of weakness. Move, get up and get active. Try gentle exercise such as yoga, tai chi, or pilates. But I also see that as like moving forward or moving like home. Two more, they said. Oh, can you make that up? I said, I also see that as moving home. Again, if you denying this, you got a problem. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's time to renovate or change something in your home. Oh my God. And I just picked this up because they said four or move home soulmates. Soulmates are important people who teach life lessons. They can be friends, lovers, and family members. This could also literally mean somebody's going to ask you, like, are we going to move together or something? Because, like, that's what it says. Something's peeking out here. <laughs> it's the sun. That's the happiest card in the deck. Everything. It's everything. So, but you have to self-express and embody truth. Love and light. 